Hello, and welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So, as many of you know, we do some pretty interesting stuff here. Um, we've got some pretty cool equipment. So, if you don't already subscribe, please do. Please subscribe, stay with us, and watch what, uh, what unfolds next. We do a lot of neat stuff. Um, one of our unique machines is this American Tool Works 8-foot metal planer mill. Um, I bought this machine. It was a... Uh, uh, pretty much a stripped down machine. They had put a DC drive on it, pretty slow. They were just using it um, for drilling. Um, there was no mill head on it when I got it, but I put Bridgeport head on there and made it useful for my needs, and it works really well. It does a great job. So just check out our other videos of this thing. We do some pretty neat stuff with it. Um, but today's job, um, we've got to make a wedge out of this piece of quarter by four and a half 1018 cold rolled flat. Um, and we've only got this three or three and a half inch cutter here. Um, five index or five, five insert indexable um, that we're going to use. So we're going to mill one side, move the clamps, mill the other side, finish it off. But we're going from a sixteenth of an inch to a quarter inch, uh, just a wedge. And I did a quick little drawing here. I'll try to post that in the corner so you can see it. But uh, I calculated it out um, using the Edge Technologies Pro Tram unit, one of these little guys. I need 208 thousandths this way to hit my 2.38 degrees to get my angle. So let's move the camera in and we'll get this all set up and we'll get, the, get this thing lined up where it needs to be. Okay, so I got going on the setup and I realized that by pushing over here, it wants to lift just a little, so we're going to have to keep two clamps moving ahead of the cutter the whole time. Um, well, ahead and one behind. Um, so what we're going to do is we got our two clamps here. We're going to start, and then I'll move this one once I get up to it. I'll move it right to the back, and then we'll keep on going. So let's get started. don't like the way this is going. Um, it's getting to be a bit labor intensive. So I'm going to, I already switched my clamps here. I'm going to get rid of these. It's actually sitting pretty flat now. Better. Um, so I'll start over. I'm going to have to come over a bit so I got clearance for my, for my uh, clamps. But uh, this should work better for us. So let's uh, start this and see how it goes now.
this side done. We got our clamps all moved over without moving anything. Um, you know, with anything like this, it's difficult to get it perfect, um, but this is just a shim, a uh, special shim. Uh, they're actually going to cut it into smaller pieces. Just easier for me to mill it in one long piece. And uh, so even if it's off a little bit, it isn't going to kill anyone. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking about 80 thousandths off, and then we'll go back and take the final pass just to get it to, to our finished cut or finished line. running back take my next pass um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this lip and then I'll take that much again and then when we're all done um, I'll take it off of here and I'll just blend it with a uh, seven inch flap disc um, you know it, doing big stuff like this is not easy it's it's a very difficult thing and um, being that this is just a shim and it's not super precision um, you know, that'll be plenty for this customer. They'll be happy with it. They're, they're more than happy just to be able to get something like this. So, um, like I said, I'll just blend it all together. It'll look fine and it'll work good. Um, and uh, so we'll get it set up, take the last pass, and then uh, we'll call it a day. I'm just gonna there's a little discrepancy here in spots but I'm just gonna blend that with uh, a large flap wheel but any of you that watch the uh, milling eight feet video knows how these things get a bow to them when you when you mill them so let's see just what this one does I don't know that we're going to get the spring we did on the other one, but let's bring you in and just, all right. Yeah, a little bit, not bad. So with that, we're going to end here. Um, Pretty cool machine. You can do some neat stuff with it. So um, please check out my website, www.toppermachine.com. And please like, subscribe, and share. Stay with us, see what's next. And until next time, get out in your shop, get it done right the first time. <laughs>